A thousand years ago, Muslims built hospitals that were so advanced, medieval Europe couldn't even imagine them. In the ninth century, while most of Europe was still relying on monasteries for healing, Muslims in Cairo constructed the Bimaristan of Ahmad ibn Tulun, the world's first fully organized hospital. It was free for all, regardless of wealth, religion, or status. Patients would enter through large courtyards with flowing fountains, because clean air and water were part of the healing process. Inside, they would be given beds, clothing, and food, so they could recover in dignity. And doctors specialized in different fields, surgery, internal medicine, eye diseases, and even mental health. The hospital was divided into separate wards for men and women and for different illnesses, fevers, wounds, and infections. Pharmacists prepared medicines in dedicated dispensaries using precise measurements written in detailed medical records. The ancestors of today's prescriptions, and even if that wasn't enough, once patients recovered, they would receive financial aid so they wouldn't fall back into poverty. This was centuries before Europe had anything resembling a hospital system. Later, Islamic hospitals in Baghdad, Damascus, and Cordoba would follow the same model. Free, public, and based on compassion and science. These ideas then traveled to Europe during the Crusades, ultimately shaping the modern hospital system we know today. From Cairo's Bimaristan to today's hospitals, Muslim pioneers set the standard for healthcare. For more Islamic history, follow 2-Minute Islamic History.